So in this video, we will discuss about the magnification produced by a simple microscope. A simple microscope basically means a convex lens just like this of shorter focal length. Uh, we have the optic center O and let me draw a mean line through this optic center so that I can take all the refractions about this main line. And there will be a principal axis like this, which passes through the optic center. We have a focus F, principal focus F here, and at the same distance, there will be another focus, let, be, let, let, let it be F dash. And the principle behind this simple microscope is just this. When you place an object in between the focus, principal focus and optic center like this, a virtual erect images and magnified images formed on the same side of the lens. Uh, let me draw the ray diagram. I have to take two rays. First ray is like this, I'm passing it it parallel to the principal axis like this and we know by the rules of refraction uh, when it hits on the lens it passes through the uh, focus or after refraction it passes through the focus now i'm taking another ray through this optic center okay and any ray which is passing parallel to the sorry which passes through the optic center passes undeviated okay like this so this is the second ray and this is the first ray okay clearly these two rays won't meet in here i have to extrapolate it into here so that these two rays virtually meet here and an image is formed here So this is the this is the image. Let me call that as A dash B dash. See, this is the image. Okay. And this one is the object AB. Now by definition we have magnification. Magnification usually represented by the letter m we have that is equal to tan alpha uh, sorry tan beta I'll, we'll discuss that later uh, let me write first tan beta by tan alpha okay so by definition magnification m equal to tan beta by tan alpha now tan beta beta actually means the angle subtended by this image at the optic center we or at the eye we usually view this image from here so this tan beta stands for the angle subtended by the image at the optic center also uh, the distance of this image should be at least a distance of distinct vision d and for normal eye we have d equal to 25 centimeter d basically means the minimum distance the object should be object or image should be placed in front of eyes our eyes so that uh, we can view that image or object without any strain otherwise any anything less than 25 centimeter we have some strain on our eyes so uh, the image must be at the least distance of distinguishing also i have to assign a minus sign since it is on the left of the optic center by new cartesian system and alpha means the angle subtended by the object that old object is also should be object is also at the least distance of distinct vision uh, how can i do that for that let me draw a parallel line and let me shift this object to here clear i'll shift this b to here okay now this is the 
this is our alpha and this angle is beta clear okay so that's the beta and alpha now if i take uh, let me draw this triangle here so this is b dash this is a dash this is b this is a so this is our beta and this angle is actually alpha okay so tan beta means i can take this this is optic center i can take this triangle bao for beta i can take this triangle so tan beta actually means ab by ao and tan alpha is equal to uh, see this is let me this point is b uh, let let it be b double dash okay b double dash so a a dash b double dash divided by a dash o now from from the uh, picture itself you can see that a dash b double dash is equal to a b so this will get cancelled and this this a dash o will move up a dash o divided by a o this is equal to we know a dash o is equal to minus d and a o see this a o is the object distance in simple microscope and let the object distance be some u s let s stands for simple microscope also i have to take the minus sign since it is also on the left of the optic center so minus u s so we have t by u s this negative sign will get cancelled so we have magnification m is equal to d by u s let me consider that as equation number one but it's better you write magnification in terms of focal length so um, i'm using the thin lens formula here let me erase this and by thin lens formula we have 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f where v is the image distance u the object distance f the focal length of the simple microscope now we have v uh, let's take v equal to some minus vs negative stands for it is on the left side of the image is always formed on the left side of the uh, simple microscope that is the co this convex lens and vs is the uh, image distance for the simple microscope s stands for simple microscope so 1 by minus vs minus 1 by u is actually minus us equal to 1 by f so simplifying this you will get minus 1 by vs is equal to this will this minus and minus will become plus 1 by us equal to 1 by f so uh, 1 by us will be take this to the right 1 by vs plus 1 by f let me take that as equation number 2 now uh, let let me multiply the whole equation with d equation 2 with d so multiplying this equation 2 with the value d you will get d by us us equal to d by vs plus d by f but we know d by us is actually the magnification therefore magnification m is equal to d by vs plus d by f clear now we know for 
by the definition we have vs equal to vs equal to least distance of distinct vision d right so we we already assigned this negative sign uh, so i don't have to take minus d actually minus d is equal to minus d equal to minus vs so vs will be d okay so let me plug in this value in here so magnification m will be a d by vs is actually d plus d by f so the magnification m is equal to 1 plus d by f clear now there is one more case what happens when the image is formed at infinity let me draw that case we have the same convex lens and this is the principal axis and if I place an object at the focus like this uh, I'll get the parallel rays that is one ray will pass through the other focus like this and the ray through the optic center pass like this now clearly these two rays are parallel so it won't meet on either of the sides of the lens so it will go like this or we can say an image is formed at the infinity so in this case we have vs is equal to minus infinity and us is equal to see what will be the us object is placed at the focal length f okay us is equal to minus f now oh, what we will get I can apply these two values in here actually this equation don't have us so magnification when the image is formed at infinity we can take that as mi equal to d by vs is actually minus infinity plus d by f d by f okay this term will be zero okay so magnification at infinity equal to d divided by f clear and when you look at these two equations clearly you can see that magnification at infinity is less than magnification at uh, the least distance of distinct division